Trespassing is when you enter and remain unlawfully. Nothing about me knocking on their door was unlawful. What we do is verify who you are, ensure that all you're doing is canvassing. I have a Fourth Amendment protection. If you'd like to go down that road, we can go down and we'll take you to jail for trespassing. If that's the, way, the road you want to go down. Very simple. I committed okay. no crime. What's good YouTube is BB Kaz back in with another video and another reaction and in today's videos from Billings Montana where this guy were out campaigning and knocking on doors you know regular stuff and then somebody called the cops on them and you had his office to say that if you're knocking on someone's door is trespassing I need your ID I guess the Girl Scouts that be selling cookies be trespassing too under this cops logic I'm gonna watch you get my reaction let me know what y'all think about the comment section and let's get into the video oh I'm out political canvassing right okay. I'm over here looking for my next house Okay. And these two dudes come up with their dog and tell me what's in your backpack. Okay. And I said, what, what, what do you mean what's in my backpack? Okay. Okay. Well, I thought I was getting robbed, dude. I understand. I'm just saying. And then, not robbing you. How you doing? Not you're right. Are you boss? Okay, sounds good. Yeah. yeah just, only concern is, man, look, some people just called in, right? They said that you were going up door to door, like checking I, door handles and stuff, okay? Well, I'm not checking. I am going door to door. We are. That's absolutely something you're allowed to do, okay? Some of those people just called in, right, because they're concerned because they look like you're really jingling door handles and they're worried and they're concerned because there's been some break-ins in the area recently. They need to not come up and demand I open anything? Come up with two dogs threatening me? Like, that is not okay, dude. That's not okay. That's definitely not okay. And I, I think I can understand both sides of what's happening here. I can understand you know, them, too. But when I told them I'm politically canvassing... They're not you guys. You know what I mean? They're not the cops. So, so here, here's the deal, okay? So you got to remember, right? You're not in any kind of attire showing that right, you're yeah, politically absolutely. canvassing. Or you, you're in a video game t-shirt, some headphones, some sunglasses, and a backpack and ball shorts, right? right. So the That's not illegal. That, no, it's not. I'm just explaining to you, right? People might perceive what you're doing, right, is illegal like hot prowling right that is a law and it is a violation you can't go on people's properties and anytime you pass a public sidewalk and it's somebody's private property that is trespassing right that's people's concern right now w if our i were job, to remain run, listen, listen, run. our Give job me, okay. is, to, talk, is to figure out what's going on right all we need to know is your name what you're putting if you have anything to say hey i'm politically canvassing cool that way we can go back to them and tell them the gentleman is just politically canvassing he showed us we ha have sufficient you know information to say you know what that's all he's doing but in the interest of justice and for public right that's their request and that's why we're doing our due diligence well okay. i mean respectfully i know my rights i will read okay. i they can request all they want but to alleviate their concern my name is ron and i work for Okay. Am I being detained? Uh, right now, yes, for trespassing. Because you were on people's properties. So if you want to go down that road, we just need your name, date of birth, and we'll check you, make sure you're not a wanted person, and be done and over with. I'm so sorry. That's where it. where was where was he at where, where he was trespassing? I'm so he sorry. He was at people's doors that he was knocking. That's when you cross somebody's threshold to their property line, right? That is trespassing. When you're not on a public Enter side, or remain unlawfully. Right. I never entered or remained hey, unlawfully. Hey, hold on, Ron, calm down. Yeah. Sir, I'm just trying to understand. Sure. We're going to knock on people's doors. No, I understand that. Yeah. So, I'm sorry. So I, we're not allowed to knock. We're First Amendment to... right. Ron, calm down. I'm sorry. We're not allowed to walk out to, to someone's door and knock on your door? Correct, because it's their private property. So okay, if you, if, 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 so anything, so like right now we're on a public side. Where he's standing is technically private property. Somebody maintains that law and somebody cares for that lawn. This building probably, chances are, is who owns that, right? <laughs> However, most people aren't going to call in and say, hey, you're trespassing, right? But because of the nature and how everything went down, right? And their confrontation, their disturbance, whatever it is that they got into. I wasn't there, right? You know I wasn't there. It was you and them, right? Well, how are you going to convince a jury? Right? So... So the allegation right now, right, is that, right? right? Very simple. All we do is verify who you are, ensure that all you're doing is canvassing. I have a Fourth Amendment stop, protection. Right. Okay. If you'd like to go down that road, we can go down and we'll take you to jail. Trust. And that's one thing with these officers. When you don't give up that ID, that's when you're going to say, well, we could go down this road. And then that's when that intimidation try to scare you. Say, we could throw you in jail if you don't want to hand over that ID. Okay. If you'd like to go down that road, we can go down and we'll take you to jail for trespassing. If that's the, way, the road you want to go down. I'm trying to prevent that, alleviate all that by just verifying who you are. Very simple. I committed okay? no crime. 
when you're trespassing, that is a crime. No, if anybody ever told me to leave their property, I left, okay. and that wasn't today. Okay, it doesn't matter. You still can't just trespass on people's properties. It's private property. If you don't own it, it's owned by somebody else, right? Like the grass you're standing on, if somebody called and said, hey, that guy's trespassing, I want to trespass, so I have then to identify you and issue you a warning, and then A picture it. is sufficient. Okay. What was that? A picture is sufficient to, a uh, for a warning. You can take my picture and say no, you did. No, not sufficient. We need a name and date of birth because we have to issue you a formal trespass. Warning. So under threat of arrest, if I do not give you my name, threat, okay. So you, if I do not give is, you my name, will you? Because now you're. you will arrest me. You're trespassing, you, and you don't give us your information. Now it's obstruction. If I do not give you my name, you'll arrest okay. me. Listen, we don't want to go down that road. I know, but I'm just asking you. I am being as reasonable with you as I can be. Okay. And I want to comply. Listen, okay. When I want to comply, but property, okay. The city of Billings, right, requires we identify the person to issue them a warning, saying, "Hey, sir, you've been warned. Please do not trespass." And the Supreme property. Court has ruled that okay. a picture is sufficient. Ron, I need you to hold on for a second. This yeah. is my program organizer. Okay, would you mind just talking yes. to her for a second? No problem. I want legal rep representation. Hello, this is Officer Diaz. Who am I speaking with? Good. I, I'm doing well. We're just out here because there was reports of some kind of hot prowling going on where, um, what's your name? But they're false reports. My name is... Thank you. you we what's for... Ron, he works with me. Ryan. Ryan. So I guess... Ra Brian? Ron. Ron. I guess Ron was doing some uh, political canvassing. Yes, that's what we and they were knocking on doors and so forth, which they're allowed to do, right? However, no crime. When you trespass on somebody. I ain't gonna lie, my boss acting like this, telling me to be quiet and everything, that'll be my last day on the job. Private property, it's trespassing. So most people aren't gonna call in that you came to solicit and do all that stuff, right? At the end of the day, like I explained all that, that's all we're trying to do. He just said I haven't committed any crime. I have no obligation to identify. But if he's going to threaten me with arrest, then I will sue them for a violation. So, really quickly, Ron, like a let me just clear this up really quickly. Okay? Billing City Code has a thing just called prowling. That's fine. I'm just, I just need to know if I do not give my name, will you arrest me? If Ron, okay, thank you. I don't know what company you work. Am I free to go now? Not right now. Right, just Billing. So, what reasonable articulable suspicion do you have that I trespassing is when you enter and remain? unlawfully nothing about me knocking on their door was unlawful I appreciate you explaining the trespassing okay that's really helpful thank you okay like I said most talk about the situation is Billing City Code okay that has to do with prowling you kind of already explained it why you're here you're political and I have my boss so there we go political political canvassing this is my first amendment right I am exercising my first amendment right so like as part of like that Billing City Code because of that we just need to identify can you get me that Billing City Code would you like me to show it to you and make yeah. I don't want a person to identify him and go, be boss. done with it and send him on his way. You can read it if you would like. Being difficult and not wanting to give his name. So that's kind of where we're at. Oh, I'm a law abiding individual practicing my First Amendment oh, right, though. Sorry. Absolutely. Right, so, part of the absolutely, was, absolutely. People came and they described it, right? They described it as okay. you were coming in and you were like making But doorbells. that's why you right? do due diligence and you yeah. come and get the second side of the story and you find out that my boss is here and I'm exercising my yeah, First Amendment so right. Well, so now, they, so what crime have I committed? Dogs because I'm trying to complete and make yeah, sure, right? Of, like, obviously, of, yeah. How do, what does my name have, have to do with any of that? Verify, right? Yeah, For right. us to be able to and properly verify and confirm, right? And confirm, right? That you are here and what you're doing is politically. I just told you, do you have any reason to believe that is not why I am here? Other than what those people took? Exactly. If you don't know, how are you going to convince a jury? Because here's the thing, man, is we don't necessarily know for sure. We are not trying to antagonize these guys. They're, they're trying right. to do their jobs. Someone call I'll the police. The like if you were to call the police so in your area and tell them it's the same okay. thing, they're going to come and check it out. That what they said to you is not She's okay, but trying to, to figure out the she situation we, we've got to try to stay calm for them they're not they're trying to not arrest you they're trying Literally, to just trying to get to the bottom to of who we are yeah. so that they can just i believe in my rights know. that's why i'm out politically canvassing exercising my first amendment right and i've just asked am i going to be arrested if i do not give my name he said no so what's your right answer what's, okay so so since you know that i'm politically here, canvassing and not doing okay. that code here's the deal okay since you're being less than forthcoming and there's bigger problems that are plaguing our city in the interest of justice and the safety of the community, we're not going to waste our time with you anymore, okay? I want to go home. But Thank you. the reality you. is, okay? Thank you. Had we had more time and all this stuff, we'd be having a different conversation. Okay. Fact of the matter is, if it's not your property, okay, it's private property.
Understood? Where you're standing right now is private property. Just because you have public access to it doesn't allow you to set up a house, a tent, whatever, right? Now you're on a public sidewalk. That is what you're allowed to use, okay? For future reference, if somebody tells you to get off or you get in a verbal altercation, you are in the wrong because you're on their property, just walk away. Oh, I would. I always simple, love property. Okay? I was on the sidewalk when they came up to me. People have Montana's enhanced rights to privacy state. Right, they have an enhanced right to privacy, meaning they do not expect you or want you on their property. If they have signs that say no trespassing, no soliciting, whatever, great. Some people don't, some people can't afford it, right? The expectation is that's their private property, right? If it's not a public sidewalk, it's their property. That's simple, okay? So if somebody just says, Hey, I know you've been cooperative and not an issue, I'm sure you understand, you're more level headed and understanding than he is, but um fact of the matter is maybe you can articulate it to him in a better manner when he's a little more calm uh, yeah, I understand. I do apologize about that and no it's all right we will, yeah. we like i said we were unaware of that that extended privacy yeah. policy here in montana so i do no apologize worries, about yeah. that we'll no, make sure that that doesn't no big deal like I, like i said you know we were just trying to identify who it is in case there's a repeat offense or a repeat incident we have the person identified we can let them know he's not a murder suspect he's not hot prowling he's not a wanted person we just try to reassure the public so that they are less likely to want to press charges against them, right? Now, I don't know if they're going to want to press charges, right? Because I want to go back and be like, I don't know who he is. He said his name is Ron. Actually, he didn't even say that. His friend said that, right? That's the fact of the matter, right? And it is what it is. Their desire is to press some charges. At some point, if we find them, we'll identify them and take them to jail. It is what it is, right? He opens himself up to that by not identifying himself in a very simple manner. What's your name, officer? Officer Diaz, badge 812. And you? Brian, sir, 814. Thank you. So uh, maybe you can talk to him, have a conversation with him, figure out how to teach him to yeah, I'm not have any so sorry about that. With people. And so, thank you guys for your help. Yeah, of course. We'll Take care. Be hair. safe. Enjoy your canvassing of political stuff. And that's the end of that video. My take on that. That was my boss, bro. That'd be my last day on the job. I ain't lying to y'all, but that's just me personally. It's just crazy how this officer just kept saying, you know, we can go down that road and never actually went down that road, especially like right here. Verify who you are. Ensure that all you're doing is canvassing. I have a Fourth Amendment protection. Stop, right. Okay. If you'd like to go down that road, we can go down and we'll take you to jail for trespassing. He, like he kept on saying, we could go down that road. We could go down that road just for them not to go down that road because you had them towards the end want to say this. There's bigger problems that are plaguing our city in the interest of justice and the safety of the community. We're not going to waste our time with you anymore. Okay. I want to go home. But Thank you. Is, this officer said, we don't want to waste your time with you. But in reality, they knew they couldn't do nothing to him. That's why they didn't do anything. Like this officer was just trying to use intimidation saying, we could go down this road. We could go down this road. And then you had him cops playing to his own boss, especially like right here. I know you've been cooperative and not an issue. I'm sure you understand. You're more level headed and understanding than he is. But uh, he's over here trying to cops playing this whole situation to the boss. Talking about, you know, I understand you're, you're a little bit more better. Yeah. Because of his boss was like a literally a kiss ass to these cops, honestly, in my opinion, because this dude, he had every right to stand up for his rights he didn't have to identify anything especially if he's knocking and he's not trespassing he never got told to leave off the property he just knocked and left knocked and left that's all he did so he wasn't even breaking the law but you had his officer just kept on trying to say you know we go down this road we could go down this road and never went down that road but you know he had his boss with him and he, it, it was a little bit different with him because he wanted to give everything to the cops and everything which is nothing wrong with that you know everybody's different it's just i mean man that would have been my last day on the job my boss would have been telling me like that he this dude knew his rights he had every right to hide his information from these cops that's my take on it though let me know what y'all think about the comment section how do you feel about the Billings Montana Police Department for trying to get this dude's idea he kept saying oh you know we could go down this road we could go down this road and never going down that road just end up walking away because we don't got time but in reality they couldn't do nothing about it that's my take on it though let me know what y'all think about the comment section make sure to like subscribe and y'all have a wonderful day